Hey, what's up guys? Turn these off. Okay, press and hold to turn them off. Well, these are the Lerman K2s or Lerman K2s. I just got back from taking these on a little test run. So let's go ahead and go through them real quick. So I'll put the earbuds right there and we'll go through some accessories and then we'll get in some of the other details. So you do get a lot of accessories with these. You do get your kind of, I, I would say these are sports sleeves. These are like hooks that you can put the earbud in and then hook it over your ear. That way they don't come out if you're lifting weights or running or anything like that. And they probably would because of the size of these things, man. These, these things are kind of on the big side as far as uh, earbuds go or true wireless earbuds go. Nonetheless, we go to the earbuds. You get uh, two, you get three, no, four sets of uh, earbuds. Looks like two smalls, a medium, and a large. And then you get these dual layer earbuds. Let me put this up here for you. Get this dual layer earbud there. You get two sets of those, which looks like maybe a medium and a large. Then you get a micro USB cable, which is super duper short, no big deal there. And you get a charging case, which in my opinion is fairly large, but then again, we're dealing with large uh, earbuds here. And then you get your instructions. So let's get into it, man. There's some things that I dislike and there's a, a couple of things that I actually like about these earbuds. I will tell you as far as uh, music quality, uh, they leave a lot to be desired, man. Uh, the bass is pretty subpar. The mids are almost non-existent along with the highs. This is simply just music that you're pushing into your ear canal, just music. So these would be good if, you, if you're the type of person that's really not concerned about high audio quality. You just wanna get some tunes in the ear as you're doing your jobs or you're running or whatever. These will be great for you, especially around the house because that's where I experienced the best Bluetooth quality or connection quality. Uh, they actually did th go through a couple of walls with just minimal drops and skips. Uh, I did run them through a test because, you know, a house is pretty big and they actually held up to the test pretty good until I took them outside. I started walking and you can use these as individual earbuds to talk on the phone with or just listen to music with, which is a pro. I, I really do like that because they're clearly not marked left or right. OK, you can use these individually. But the one that becomes dominant in the instance that you pair it with your phone, uh, the one that becomes dominant, that's the side, you, if you're holding your phone and walking, that's the side you need to hold your phone with. Put it in the pocket of the dominant side or hold it in the hand of the dominant side. Uh, because on the opposite side, you're gonna experience some dropouts and it's on both earbuds. It's not just that one, it's on both earbuds. Now, with that being said, I will talk about these, uh, these sports sleeves. That's what I'm calling them today. They are marked left and right. Uh, but once you put it on, I experienced more dropouts on, in that scenario where you have the dominant side versus the non-dominant side. Uh, you'll actually have more dropouts. And with that, I see a little pinhole right here and I'm assuming this is probably a mic of some sort. Um, if you're gonna be taking a call, I don't know. I, I, didn't, I didn't try any calls on this thing. I wouldn't imagine they'd be that great, but uh, it's gonna cover this up because there's no hole right here on the tip to allow whatever sound or input to pass through uh, on this thing right here. So I don't know. I don't know how that works. It's blocking something, but it does hinder the Bluetooth connectivity uh, on the non-dominant side. Now, as far as charging these bad boys, I'm not sure how many charges you get out of this case, but they will last you about two and a half to three hours. Uh, one thing I really do like about this case, even though it is on the fairly large side, it doesn't feel like it's, you know, super high quality. So please don't drop it or you'll be sorry. But I do like that it has an on off switch. So what you have to do is you have to put your earbuds in there you put them in there just like that. And it's actually kind of beautiful when, when they're sitting in there. And then you close it and it has a magnetic clasp right there. So it kind of stays shut and it pushes the earbuds into the connection, but it doesn't start charging immediately. And I've noticed that with a lot of other earbuds where you close that case and it starts charging immediately, you might not necessarily want to charge them all the time. I like that this has an on off switch. So now we are charging. There should be an LED. Oh, did it flash? Okay, yes, the LED flashes like two or three times and then you're good to go. And then you can charge up your case while you're charging your earbuds. So I do like that about the earbuds. Now, real quick, one last thing before we round out this video, uh, I do like this. So once you get these bad boys paired up, one becomes the left, one becomes the right. It could switch depending on how you uh, pair them up, but one is left, one is right. On the left, all you have to do is tap one time on this multifunction button right here and that'll play and pause your tracks. If you hold it for two or three seconds, that activates Siri or Google Assistant or Bixby, whatever you're using. 
Now on the right ear cup, if you tap one time, that will skip your tracks forward. I don't believe you can uh, skip your tracks backwards, but I like the fact that there's no double tapping or triple tapping or anything like that. And of course, answering and ending calls is pretty much the same way. You either tap once or you tap and hold to end the call or redial the last number. I thought that was a pretty cool feature that they built that into there. I've really never seen it where both earbuds have functionality. It's usually just one earbud is doing all the work. Look, I don't know if these are for you or not. If you're the kind of person that wants some inexpensive earbuds to just toss in your ear and have some tunes playing as you go through your day, these might be for you. But if you're looking for some audiophile sound quality and, and you know some other things, maybe we might want to keep looking. But this is the Lerman K2s and I am not an expert in this kind of stuff. I'm just doing reviews. But before I get out of here, y'all go ahead and make sure y'all tap on that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all at the next one.